hello welcome to microsoft excel made easy so this is another of our series on microsoft excel and hr so on today's videos we are going to be looking at hr data analysis and excel and what we'll be covering is as seen on your screen why hr data analysis and excel how we can make sense out of the data that we are given, how we can transform our data to table, that is obviously the most simplest, how to clean up your data, how to calculate the age of staff of the given data, how to calculate the length of service of the staff, as well as getting important insights out of your data. So why HR data analysis and Excel? So first off, you must understand that Microsoft Excel is a tool that is used to carry out data analysis and as a HR professional you can not do without this it's actually a very basic tool that you must use okay and it is free at that so we are going to be using Excel to analyze this set of data now supposing you are given a set of data and the question is inspect the employee data given definitely by inspecting it you are going to be taking critical look at the data and the different types of columns and the different types of data types that is within then you are now asked to analyze the employee data and make useful insights out, out of them so this is a raw data that we've been given and we've been asked to inspect this kind of data and if you notice this data has several columns and you notice that it has the column headers as this all right so the first thing you need to do while inspecting this is to resize the content of the cells accordingly and an easier way to resize the content of the cell is to select the entire worksheet then double click on any of this intersection where each of these columns intersect so you notice that the cursor the cursor icon changes so if i double click at any instance here it resized accordingly so is this not super awesome so as a hr you must make your work very very easy and efficient and one of them is to automate all the process using microsoft excel so after resizing you can go ahead to format this accordingly so let us go ahead to transform this as a table because before you start doing anything it's very very important that you do what work with your data in the table file format so a way of transforming this as a table is from your home menu tab just locate where you see what format as a table so when you click it you can select any of these formats and it is done for you automatically and this comes up format as a table where is the data for your table so you notice that everything has been selected and you hit what okay so make sure that if your table has headers my table has headers is ticked and you hit okay now aside following this there's a shorter way of doing it so i try as much as possible to make my viewers get better ways of doing all the process so you just hit ctrl t on your keyboard and it brings up this so you hit okay and you are good to go so our excel data has been formatted as a table and we can now work with this very 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 important so let us critically look at the data the first column has what employee id i'll have gender i have higher date date of birth location department and the job grade so higher date you notice that everything here is actually general so before you can go ahead to work with this table we still have to do some kind of changing of data format so we are going to change the data format for date of birth and higher date to the standard date format so a very fast way of doing it is to select any of this come down to this place that says what general then either select short date or long date as the case may be so supposing you select short date it will format this cell accordingly then you can now go ahead to use format painter feature to format the rest of these guys down or you can use the second method so what is the second method is to do well let's just undo what we've just done so we are trying to see how fast we can do this so you can just select the whole of this hold down ctrl shift your down arrow key then come to this particular place and hit what shut it and to format it accordingly for you so if you notice this is formatting this as what the month the date and the what the year 
that is m d y does that make sense so this is american standard all right so but depending on your region you can easily format it accordingly so we made a video before now showing you how to have full control of how your date format appears in microsoft excel go ahead to watch it up there now so suppose you want total control of how you want your dates to appear what you just need to do is to select this whole range of data so control shift and my down arrow key will select everything for me so click on this drop this little icon here and it brings up this for you so just go to what date now you notice that we have different date formats and you just go with the one that appeals to you so i just go until i find what i want so this one makes more sense for me so i can just select it and you can just go ahead to hit ok is all right so hitting ok you notice that i have my date formatted appropriately so i can now double click here to resize and i have my data as this so having done that we can now go ahead to do other form of cleanup so after we've succeeded in transforming our data to a table and clean up our data the next thing that we'll do is to calculate the age of our staff how about that and in calculating the age of our staff we need another column to the right of date of birth so we just hit what select the column e right click and hit what insert now you are going to insert a new column and call it today's date so today's date okay so hit enter so this will actually get us the date of today and we are going to use a function excel function equal to today to get that particular function now one good thing about formatting your set of data in excel as a table is because it helps you to automate everything now ideally if i should hit enter in a normal set of data or range of data it will just give me the today's date for that particular row but because this has been formatted as a table if i hit enter watch the magic that happens it automatically fills in everything for me and like everything i mean everything so the next thing you are going to do is to insert another new column to the right of today's date so in this new column is where we are going to be calculating the age of the staff so i'm going to rename this column as what staff age and hit enter so we are going to be using an excel function date div to calculate the age of our staff how about that so you start your date div function so date div so i try made a detailed video on this particular function you can go ahead to watch it up there now so open your bracket so the date div function is so that you select the earlier date comma today's date comma then the way you want your answer to be displayed if you type in y that means your answer will display the age of the staff if you type in m that means the answer will display the month the age of the staff in months is all right so if you type in day then your answer will be displayed it will display the age of the staff in days so but ideally most age of staff is displayed in years so you select y and you close up your bracket and you hit what enter now this is going to calculate the age of this staff in years all right so i'm sure you'll be wondering why is the staff age still displaying this strange looking dates and all that so not to worry one thing you have to do at this moment is to select this whole set of data is all right then come down to this number section then click the drop down arrow then click what number and to give you the different age of the staff as shown then one other thing is to remove these decimal places so just take note at this particular place so hitting here will increase the decimal places which is not what we want so you can just decrease the decimal places like that and you have your staff age shown remember at any instance you can format appropriately depending on what you want to achieve is that not super super easy the next thing that we'll have to do is to insert another column to the right of the staff age to calculate the service years is that okay so or length of service so i'm going to right click here and hit what insert 
then i'm going to rename this to what service here or staff service here staff service here all right so having done this you now go ahead to still use the same function equal to date diff okay date diff make sure you spell it correctly open brackets then your earlier dates which is higher dates comma don't have the today's dates which is this then i hit comma then i make sure that my result is displayed in years is okay then i close up my brackets then you close up everything then you hit what enter now you notice that everything is preformatted as what number so one <laughs> one funny thing about it is that it takes up the previous attributes of the previous column and the column that you create next will take up the previous attributes of the column before it is all right so we don't need to do much work so the service year of this particular guy is 20 years and he's what age 40 so invariably he got into the company when he was just 20 but these are just data for analysis purposes for learning purposes is all right now another useful thing that we can do is we can actually summarize this data so you can get important insights to your data why a cell within your table is selected go to design then you can hit what total row is all right so in total row we can get a whole lot of insight so before we hit total row i just want to take us to the end of this our worksheet I notice that it ends at what 112. So clicking total row will add a whole new row to this particular table. Is that right? So coming back to design, hitting what total row, I notice that this new row comes up and we can do a whole lot of things. So from here, you can find the maximum staff age, which is 60 and the minimum staff age, which is 29. So also you can go ahead to calculate the maximum staff service year, which is 24, and the minimum staff service year, which is what, eight. So from here also, you can also add more functions. Supposing the function you want to work with is not here, you can go to what, add more functions. So you can search it up, or you can go to, most recently used, you can go to all, depending on what you want to achieve. So I'm just going to cancel it because we're not using this. Then you can also have an insight as to the total. Is that right? So you can count the total number of staff that is there or the data that is here. You can find average. Is okay. Make sure when you are finding things like average, you use numeric data, right? Because you cannot come under this department and start looking for average. Is okay? It's, it will probably give you an error because it's a text data, right? But you can use things like count, hope, you are getting value from this video. So this is Microsoft Excel data analysis and HR. I'll be able to see why HR data analysis is very, very important with Excel. So we're able to make sense out of our data. We're able to transform our data to a table. We're able to clean up our data. We're able to calculate age of staff. We're able to calculate length of service here. And we're able to get important insights from our data how about that so on our next video we are going to be analyzing this set of data more so we can check how many staff works in abuja how many staff work in the different locations as well as how many staff are seen in different departments as well as the different job grids okay we can use excel data summary like count if sum if to do all this as well as we can also use the pivot table go ahead to support our channel by smashing the subscribe button also like and share this video go ahead to watch the video on your screen that shows you very important microsoft excel function that you must know as a hr excel made easy